Well, here's all our gear spread out. It's uh, Saturday, July 26th. We have a week and a half before we depart on our dream sheep hunt. And we've been preparing for this for, oh, well, actively preparing for almost a year. I booked it in February of 2013, I believe it was. And now we have all our gear spread out. Trying to pick through it, trying to keep our pack weight down as low as possible, and yet have all the right things for 12 days in the Alaskan wilderness, and hopefully come home with a dream sheep, possibly a caribou and or a grizzly bear. So uh, we have a lot of options. Hopefully we have a great hunt, and got to sort through all this gear and pick the right things to have a safe and comfortable hunt in Alaska. My QU pack, new for this hunt, and uh, hoping to be around 36, 38 pounds without my rifle. Uh, all totaled, my whole gear that I'm taking to Alaska is probably going to be about 47 pounds. And uh, that's what I've got to live off of for about 14 days. So. All kinds of good stuff, wet wipes, they're a lifesaver, some energy drinks so we can drink something other than water. I'm still sorting through which knife to take, several different gloves, and uh, working on the medical kit. First aid, gotta have a little bit of that. Sitka uh, vest, my Kuyu, Kuyu rain gear. I have the uh, Chugash bottoms and the Yukon top, so uh, good gear, rain gear could be the difference between surviving and not surviving, so uh, oh, we're still uh, picking through the base layers, got some first light um, uh, boxers, some wool, smart wool socks, and uh, my new Swarovski. 10 by 42 range finding binoculars and uh, we're uh, got, uh, got most of it here on the table, a few things left to get. i uh, got some base layers up in the wash and uh, a lot of good stuff. Got a few things down here, my uh, camp shoes, some uh, another sack to put, the dry sack to put everything in, parachute cord and the sling and the uh, uh, rab gator so uh, yeah, a lot of stuff but it's all got to fit in there and it's all got to weigh as little as possible all right we're up for a hike here training hike up here in Cassville getting the uh, trail system up here in the state forest so, about 60 pounds in the back. Breaking into these trail trail shoes for the Spartan challenge tomorrow. And uh, beautiful morning. Good night's sleep. Ready to take on a new day. Hmm. To use this new camera here. Learning how to use it. Sony RX. 100 new version 3 Oh, well, we got all our gear packed down into this pack Just a couple little items to stick in here yet zip it up 37 pounds without the gun and the clothes I'm wearing to go so uh, looks like we're getting it all pulled together and over this this list of many many times and we're getting close my 300 short mag Kuyu custom rifle made by Boswell and uh, I know we're hitting all the way out to 600 yards Kuyu pack and a bunch of Kuyu gear and plenty of room in there yet for food and some other uh, gear I'm sure we're going to need to add to 
headed into the back country. Well, it's uh, August fifth, uh, the day, uh, actually August sixth, the day we've been waiting for for a long time. It's uh, we're all loaded up here in the truck and ready to head to the office to pick up Evan and uh, Dale Groff who won a free sheep hunt you know, a year ago and we're headed to Philadelphia. Fly uh, to uh, St. Paul and then on to Anchorage, get there at 8.30 tonight and then uh, spend a day in Anchorage tomorrow and Friday, August 8th, head uh, into the bush. So uh, our adventure that we've been dreaming about since uh, well, I don't know, since I was 10 years old probably, uh, is here. We certainly uh, uh, have our prayers with uh, family here at home and also for Ed and Margie as Ed's got some uh, health issues right now. He's in the hospital, so we're certainly praying for, for protection on his life and uh, also to be with Nadine and the girls while I'm gone through this challenging time. And, uh, Lord, and we just pray for, uh, for safety. And, uh, let the adventure begin. I've done a hundred things you have not dreamed of. Wheeled and soared and swung. High in the sunlit silence, hovering there, I chased the shouting wind along. And while with silent lifting mind, I trod the high untrestment. I don't look like a hunter, do I? I look no. like a conservation. You look like a city I'm slicker. Not, you know, I'm actually flying out there to do uh, a little research. So Dale's got his gear here and he's packing up to fly in the base camp today. We flew out of last year. I was hoping that it's fun to watch you guys come in and out. You guys get a chance to sit down there at the Millennium and watch those boys come in. There's just a lot of stuff. That must be a downer. So it's uh, Thursday, August 7th. We're here at the Millennium Hotel, spent the night here. And uh, Planning to go to Wasilla tonight and then fly out of Willow tomorrow. Tentative plans if weather cooperates. This is the lake where all the uh, float planes take off. And uh, right outside the hotel here. And then Dale Groff is across the lake there where he's planning to take off and go into his base camp today. So far, the trip was on schedule and uneventful. All excited. Got in at uh, bed at 11.30 time here, which is like 3.30 at home, so we were tired. Well, we're here at Willow, ready to jump on the small planes and uh, head into the bush. Headed out. What is it? August 8th. Headed into sheep camp. It's Cessna and in we go. Playing the broad us in. Evan and I in our gear, we're waiting here to get flown up. Something, right? There it goes. Hopefully somebody comes to get us. Well, here's our packs and our guns. That's what we got to live off of for the next 12 days, 13 days, I guess, for sure. Bag full of food, Chet's gear, 
waiting here in the beautiful Rainy Pass Valley for the Piper Cub to come get us. Just flew 100 miles from Willow. And one more little airplane ride to go, another 30 minutes or so. I guess imagine we're gonna set up camp here, I don't know. Got a bunch of gear stashed. That's where we came in. Got two caribou, uh, two bulls actually. Just to the uh, left of that slide up there in the green. So, been here five minutes, two caribou bulls. Already a dull ram. Here's a cabin. I don't know what the likelihood is. We may be sleeping in here tonight. Not sure, but we got a little bit of housekeeping to do. If that's what the plan is. Looks like the roof may be dry. Holy oh, shit, there's a hornet's nest in here. different. But you just being able to turn these inside out and hang them. That's worth something. This is uh, make pizza squatting beside a stove in the middle of the rainstorm to cook. <laughs> Nine o'clock at night. Tent set up. Our first day in Spike. Well, it's uh, August night. Uh, I believe that's Saturday. Just got up from uh, sleeping. Went to bed at ten o'clock. It's late yet. Still, uh, it's late around five. And uh, spotted two sheep again, but uh, probably the same too. Not raining right now, it's cool, 44 degrees, and uh, ready for a day of packing up and probably heading into farther in the back country away from the airstrip.
We got five rams over there. I think two of them are legal. We got our packs and we can stock up this ridge. It'll be a long more. Six hours yet till we get to them probably. Ran out of gear while we're waiting on the guys to come back so we can go make a stop at this ridge. It's crazy. Way to go, Evan. We just shot doubles. There's the hog, you know that? Yeah. This is where Corey said it's legal. So I was first shooter, so I just let him stand. I have no problem with it, man. I wasn't going to pass up a legal ram when we worked so hard to get in position. Well, Evan and I just shot. He shot a ram here on the first day at. Oh, nine o'clock, and I shot my 90 yard right here, and the shot is up there, and jets down there, hog time, so it don't go any farther. We just did it. Too, too easy. Too huh? easy. Why do you think you that freaking hike was not too easy, man? You guys busted ass, Dan and I were talking about that at the, uh, at the packs. Like, fuck, these guys are. I know, I was scrambling to keep up. I'm like, holy shit, my you guys hunters are gonna do. beat me up the hill. Comes Ken down the rock slide. Check his sheep out. Yes, sir. Nine o'clock. I can't believe it. Nice tips. Yeah. Beautiful. Nicer than I was thinking. Nice and heavy. Woo! Thank you, Lord. All right, here my uh, ram. Evan and I both shot rams at nine o'clock p.m. We've been stalking them for seven. Uh, seven hours and uh, we shot him. Mine was at 90 yards, this is about 150. Got them both. Uh, beautiful ram. First time ever that our guide got a double. So uh, we were proud as can be to have this beautiful ram and most importantly to be able to do a double with Evan. Everything we dreamed about. So uh, thank you Lord for a great hunt. It's only day one. We spotted those rams from that point over there. And uh, I just stalked down around the valley, get below the site. And we climbed a huge mountain. And they actually were up on that point there is where we spotted them. And we shot them from below those peaks. They're up there at Cape and Evans right now. And we're down here with mine. First day rams. Camp of the night after we packed in. Rained overnight. Time for some grub. I'm headed out. She's Kate, top of our gear. Probably around 70.
There's two moose here, you know. There's two. There's two bulls. That's the last time I see it. Yep, sheep loaded up. Got meat and capes down below my horns. Evan's horns in here. Headed back to town. Going caribou hunting. Well, we just shot a caribou. Oh, I'm talking to the camera here. <laughs> nice bull, nice tops. What, was there four or five of them? Five. They started boogering out before we could get Evan in position. We decided just to shoot one. This was, I think, the biggest one. And, uh, Shot him from over there on that knob. Well, I guess 90 yards again, 100 yards. Stalked all the way up from the bottom. You see those guys coming up. We spotted going across that side hill. You can see our tracks over there. Climbed up over, huffing and puffing. Four days of hunting. Three dead critters. It's been a great Alaska adventure, right Evan? This is the hunting nightmare stuff, fog. Off to stalk a caribou. Eight o'clock. Spot this caribou on that slide. Him in his tracks, did he? Huh? Is he down? Oh, yeah, he's still right up above the rock. Yeah. Dropped him. Alright, we gotta get our packs and we'll get him. Woo! I love Alaska! That's a hell of a shot, sir! Coming up on Evan's bull. There you go, man. It's awful. It's heavy, too. Yeah. Oh, hang it. Nice. There you go, man. Oh. 390 yards. Oh, man. Big shovel. Big back scratcher. Back scratchers. Heavy. Nice tops. Awesome. Spot them from back at the camp. Tall with big tops. Back there at the runway. Stalked up through the creek. Maybe he shot him from over there. Bag, huh? Two caribou, two sheep. Yeah, seven days, that's almost more than you can dream for. Our cabin keeps getting improvised farther. It's looking great, having the caribou all cooling down. Packing up to head out to town today. Well, it's Sunday morning and the 17th and uh, 
packing up her stuff. Alaskan Adventures winding down. We're headed. Hopefully, the plane will come and fly us into town today. It's day eight of our hunt. We've been in here for ten days. Had an awesome adventure. Two sheep, two caribou, and seven days of hunting. And uh, it's awesome. It's kind of bittersweet. Time to go home. Can't wait to see the family again. And uh, but it's awesome to be in the mountains here. Can't wait to come back sometime. Comes a ride out of here. Emergency exits, these things pop right out with a quick elbow. Spot locator right there. This goes off automatically in the case of a hard landing. Clear the prop. Let it out. Well, it's day, uh, I guess, eight of our hunt, 10 days that we've been in the bush. Just got flown out of three mile camp, dropped here at Pontilla. I guess 10 days ago I left here to fly into camp, and uh, quite an adventure since then. This pack carried sheep, it carried caribou. Two different, two shots out of my. Uh, Custom rifle, 300 short mag, one shot for the sheep and one shot for the caribou, and a whole lot of memories. And I uh, can't believe it's ending. Gonna get home early. Wife doesn't know that yet. Gonna wait till I get to town to call her and tell her after I get my flights changed. So hopefully, we get home in a, uh, maybe by uh, maybe Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, everything goes good about four days ahead so I don't think she'll complain what a great great awesome Alaskan adventure trip of a lifetime beautiful day it's not windy today it's not raining now first time in about nine days it didn't rain Nicest day we had was the day we killed our sheep on the first day. After that, it's been rainy, windy, rainy, windy, rainy, windy. Alaskan adventure drawing to a close. Spread gear out in a hotel after being hunting for 10 days. Smells like wood smoke in here and sweat. But we got sheep horns to show. Tomorrow they head home.